to my channel jasmine denise here if you are new thank you for tuning in go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you're notified when i drop new videos and if you are an oldie but a goodie thank you for coming back and tuning in today i have a perfume video for you guys um as promised um we have some luxury perfume brands that are on more on the expensive side and we also have some um perfume brands that are actually you know a little more affordable for you know my baddies on a budget um but we're gonna hop right into the video um and yeah let's go so the first perfume is by Givenchy it's called the Dahlia Devin as you guys can see I have used a lot of this perfume I've had it for I feel like a little over a year um but I'm going to just go ahead and give you guys like the specs and what my perspective is from the perfume and how it smells. So from this smell of this perfume, it gives me like daytime, um, like going to brunch maybe with the girls or, you know, just it's a daytime smell, but it's like real sexy too. Um, and with this bottle, this is actually the 75 milliliter um bottle if you guys see me looking down i'm giving you um i'm looking down at the screen to be able to tell you guys exactly what the perfumes are give you the specs and all of that um but this perfume retails for 111 dollars and uh for this size if you get the 50 milliliter it ranges from about 92 dollars and if you do the 30 milliliter it ranges from about 67 dollars so with that being said this is probably one of my favorite perfumes um this was actually gifted to me by my mom and it really smells so good um, i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys like the um what it says online for the perfume um it says a fragrance that captures the divine the divine i'm sorry <laughs> the divine like power of a modern day goddess as she sparkles in crystalline radiant gold venus bathed in sunlight you got, i'm going to actually put the um the factory notes like here on the side I don't you can call them factory notes or keynotes about the perfume um it says floral woody fruity um the head is mirabelle the heart is jasmine rose i think that's probably why i like the perfume so much um <laughs> and the base is sandalwood so this perfume is definitely a go-to like I said, it gives like a really sexy smell um, that you can wear in the daytime. And, you know, I feel like you can even transition it into the nighttime as well. So that's what this one is. The Dahlia Devin. Let me get a closer look so you guys can kind of see. And like I said, I had this bottle for a while, so it's almost out. I need to get some more. Okay, so the next perfume that I have is the Fendi L'Aqua Rosa. I think I'm saying that right, you guys. These perfumes you know the names get real fancy okay so excuse me if i'm not saying them correctly but this is um by fendi um i've had this perfume for a little while as well and i also have the matching um body lotion and actually something real quick about the body lotion i really love is that it has like um sparkles in it so when i put it on it gives you like a real like shimmer look let me see if i can kind of show you guys you guys might not be able to see but it gives like it gives off like a real like shimmer I don't know you guys I don't know if you guys can see that but nope it's not coming up on the camera sorry guys but basically um this this perfume and lotion it gives me like a citrusy smell so this is more i would go towards this towards um like summer and spring this is like a go-to for me this is eau de parfum as well um i can kind of like give you guys the difference between eau de parfum and eau de toilette if you guys you know need a breakdown of that um but basically the keynotes for this one it says the top notes are Sicilian Mandarin, Dried Plum, Calabrian Bergamot. I do smell the Bergamot in here um, because like I've had like some candles that kind of like have that Bergamot smell and it smells really, really like expensive and like, you know, smells really good, fancy or whatever. The middle notes are Rose, Latana, Magnolia, and Orange Blossom. The base notes are Musk, Red Cedar, and Patchouli, okay? So 
I don't really know too much about what that means, but all I know is this perfume smells really good. And like I said, I really love that the um, body lotion has um, like the sparkles in it. Um, and this is definitely like one of my go-tos like during the spring and summer months. So this is like something that I'm wearing like right now and it smells like so, so, so good. Um, this perfume ranges for about 80 bucks um, because like I said, it's been out for a little while. I think it came out of like 2013. Um, and I've had it for a while. I don't see it directly on the Fendi website anymore, but um, there are some like sites that sell it and I'll put that down in the description below so you guys can, um, you know, check it out if you want to. All right, and the next perfume I have is Couture Couture by Juicy Couture. Um, this bottle was actually um, given to me by my mom. Um, this bottle is like very like super unique. It's given like queen, okay, like real queen vibes. Um, this bottle was actually signed by the girls that own Juicy Couture. This one is, I believe, 3.4 ounces. Um, this is also an eau de parfum, but this perfume, it smells so, so good. It's, it gives me more of like an oily, um, perfume, like when you spray it on, um, it doesn't really like mist per se, like some of the other perfumes you guys may be used to. Um, but this one, it gives more like a vanilla scent. Some of the notes here that they have, um, on the website, um, the top notes are mandarin orange african orange flower and grapefruit the middle notes is jasmine <laughs> honeysuckle and plum and the base notes is amber vanilla and sandalwood so there's that vanilla scent that um i've picked up from wearing this um perfume it smells so good and this is definitely one of my go-to's i pretty much wear this all year round and as you guys can see i really do get a good use out of my perfumes um I spray them pretty much like body mist because I really love to smell good. Like, who doesn't like to smell good? Like, as a female, you should be, you know, taking consideration of how you smell. We like to smell good. The fellas like us to smell good, so we should be smelling good, okay? This perfume also, um, I didn't see on the Juice Good Tour website, but I do um, have, like, a link for where you can purchase it. And right now, for the lowest price that I see so far is, like, um, $30, so this is not really crazy expensive this is like you know our price points if you are a baddie on a budget um because i don't like to always spend all my coin either so i'm definitely into um you know smelling good on a budget so you guys if you guys are really looking for a nice like all around perfume i definitely would recommend this one all right ladies so the next perfume that i have is a little bit more on the expensive side but I love it so much. It smells so good. Um, it's this pretty teal color that, like, when I was in high school and, like, grade school, teal blue was, like, my favorite, like, color ever. Um, but this is the Greenwich Bond Number no. 9 New York. Um, they also have different um, number perfumes. So you guys can check those out if you would like. But this is my favorite. This is the 100... Um, milliliter and this retails for 405 on their website okay 405 so this is definitely more on the expensive side um but i really 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 love the smell of this perfume so this perfume actually gives me a very fruity smell um but expensive like it's not fruity and just like you know you know how you have some of those some of those perfumes that are just like oh my gosh it's, it smells fruity it's like super like potent and just you know it's not giving what it's supposed to be giving <laughs> this one right here for the price point that it is like it definitely gives like a calm fruity smell um and yeah i love it so the notes on this one is cassis leche mandarin peony water lily and patchouli so it has some of the same ones that the um the last perfume had um, and it also has jasmine petals, ambrox, ambro, if I'm saying it right, peach musk, vanilla, and oak moss, and praline, and praline. So, this smells really good. It definitely has a vanilla and, like, that mandarin, um, smell to it. Um, but it, it, it just, it, it, it gives everything that it's supposed to be given. It smells so good. Um, so if you guys have, um... You know, you got a few extra dollars. You guys can go out and purchase this. It smells so good. It definitely is a great, um, I would say, gift 
to be able to give someone um like for a starter perfume like luxury perfume um but yeah i really love this perfume and um i definitely will be purchasing this one i use very gracefully because um yeah the price point is pretty high so <laughs> the freaking bottle was just like super cute it's a like star i would say um but yeah it smells so good and yeah okay ladies so this is the best part of the video that you guys really wanted to see this um perfume that i have um i actually have the perfume and the um the men's cologne um this is the clive christian 1872 perfume i also have the um the men's cologne as well um but we'll get into the specs of that in a few minutes um but this box i still i put it back in the box so you guys can kind of just see how it looks it gives like a very like um it looks like some alcohol is in here let's just say that <laughs> it gives me like really like crown like crown royal in a bottle or something like how the packaging looks like the green apple crown royal um but yeah this is the cloud christian um 1872 perfume um i'm gonna go ahead and open the box so this is it says sorry for the fingerprints y'all you guys can kind of see like fingerprints and stuff but it says cloud christian here it has their logo on top cloud christian on this side and at the bottom it has like some language that i don't know um but on here it says original collection spicy citrus notes with the invigorating woody heart of clary sage to create the masculine perfume of the perfect pair so this is this is the 50 milliliter bottle 1.6 fluid ounces so let's go ahead and open it so when you open it you open it from the top this way then you have the box that comes out like that And this is how the box looks. It has Clive Christian here. It has the logo in gold. And then you just open the box just like this. It even has a little, like what you will be able to, you know, know about the perfume or anything um, in here. But let me set this down. We can open this up. It just says original collection. And I guess just like some of the history of the perfume. And I guess like the notes and stuff. But that's really, really fancy. And I actually have this one here. So I'm going to show you guys the two different sizes. So again, this is how the box looks. You just close it back. I don't think it's... Yeah, it's like a, a magnetic box. So let's sit that right there. So this is the bottle right here. This is how it looks. It has a crown. The bottle is giving very like royal green, which is so cute. Um, let's see. Okay, so I have three bottles of this. So this is the masculine perfume. This is the feminine perfume. And I also have a small size of the masculine. Both of these are 10 milliliter. So we're gonna go with the specs of the masculine. So we're gonna go over the specs of the masculine perfume really quick. So the masculine perfume is a earthy smell, like earthy woody smell. Um, I wanted to get both of them for you guys because I wanted to, you know, just show you guys a perfume that I've been seeing a lot. Some a lot of the celebrities, you know, wear. Um, I think I saw T.I. wears it, and um, one other person I can't remember. Um, but I saw it in like somebody's video where they were like talking about things that they can't live without, and this is one of the um perfumes. So I was like, oh, you know, let me let me just purchase it and just you know see how it smells or whatever. Um, but this one, yeah, it definitely gives like a woody like smell. It's like real um real fancy perfume something that i feel like this perfume you definitely want to wear like 
to a business meeting to dinner you're going to a business um dinner you know i definitely feel like this will be a perfect perfume for that um just some of the um the notes here um 20 percent perfume concentration earthy woody notes and fresh green resin fused to produce an invigorating spicy citrus quite unlike anything else it leaves a hint of mystery and intangible richness this definitely gives you rich vibes okay so this is the masculine one next we have the feminine perfume and like i said i'm gonna put them side by side so you guys can kind of see the size difference it's a huge difference in the masculine perfume and the feminine perfume the feminine perfume smells so good ladies um if you guys can get your hands on this i would definitely say go and grab it so the 50 milliliter um runs you about 350 dollar price point it's a 350 dollar price point for this one for the 50 milliliter but they also have a 100 milliliter one um in comparison to the last um the Greenwich one that i was telling you guys about that one is at a price point of, price point of 550 dollars so you know if you guys are planning on trying this out i definitely would you know keep that in cons into consideration um but the the feminine one it definitely um is like a floral and fruity scent um it smells really 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 good um it's pretty much the same as the uh, the men's version of it um it says 20 percent perfume concentration a floral fruity citrus that combines clean crisp um tone notes with the intense bouquet of rose de mai um one of the rarest ingredients in nature a beautifully fresh and familiar sensation for the wearer like i said these uh smell really good and they're very like expensive smelling so i would definitely go out and um like maybe this is like maybe a christmas gift or like a birthday gift something like that maybe even valentine's day um you can go out and maybe purchase these um if you just feel in the need to need the need to um splurge on like perfumes and colognes for your significant other or whoever but that pretty much completes the perfume haul um i really appreciate you guys for tuning into this video i know you guys have been waiting for me to review some of these perfumes um i would say out of all of the perfumes my favorite will probably be um between bond number nine and definitely the couture couture so these two are like my favorite perfumes um so if you guys want to smell like me <laughs> if you guys want to go ahead and check these out um i will be linking all of the perfumes um down in the description for you guys to go out and check out um but other than that i want to thank you guys for tuning in again um if you are new here again um we're dropping new content every week so go ahead and um, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you're notified when we drop new videos and again if you guys are oldie but a goodie thank you for coming back and tuning in i appreciate you guys so much for supporting me um i have more content coming out for you guys um i'll have a haul video um up pretty soon um a collective haul so uh you guys stay tuned for that and um yeah thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you in my next video